Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Sean Arnold and welcome to another episode of Subscriber Showdown. Today, I'm playing against X King Kyber X, who has been on my channel many, many times now and um, we like to play against each other every now and then when we're just trying to trial out our decks. I'm playing a different deck today. Um, little quick story, I was actually trying to build a Dark Magician deck. I've been trying to build one for a long, long time, but I'm really not happy with the way they're going. I just uh, don't think Dark Magician is a really good card. He, um, he really, really struggles to come out. I'll get summoned easily and apparently there are some new cards which really help that work out but um, they're not in this game so I can't really use them but I do have my spellcaster chaos control deck which I'm using against X King Clamber X today and um, this control deck it works really really well and it's really really good at shutting down certain plays but we'll get to those when I do um, can do so X King Clamber X plays MST and which card is he going to target so I'm targeting my second card which is going to destroy Forbidden Lance. Forbidden Lance is a really good quick play spell, but I don't really need it right now. So it's okay to have lost that card. So uh, both of us are at five cards each, making us even in terms of uh, resources. And let's see what he chooses to do this turn. Okay, so he summons, summons Tanning Goat of the Nordic Beast, or Tanning Grisha, or something like that. And he plays Nordic Relic Drafna. This is a card which gives a Acer or Nordic monster 800 attack and if that card is destroyed you can add one Nordic Relic card from your deck to your hand so I really had to destroy the monster in this case and not the um, not the equip spell card fortunately though my monster has 2000 defense Grey Keeper Spy when it's flipped up it allows itself to special summon another Grey Keeper's monster with 1500 or less attack from my deck to my field and um, the one I'm going to go for here is Greykeeper's Descendant if I decide to choose it there we go Greykeeper's Descendant is a really good card and um, it's a spellcaster as well they're all spellcasters in this deck and um, I get to tribute one Greykeeper monster on my field to destroy one of his cards which I'm probably going to do in my next turn but we will see then so Kyber's thinking and he ends his turn Okay, so I have several options here. Um, what I'm gonna, I just drew into snatch steel. So what I'm gonna do here first of all is I'm thinking about should I go through my plan and destroy the goat? But I have a better idea for that. Instead, instead I'm gonna play snatch steel. Snatch steel will take my opponent's monster and bring it to my side of the field. And now I'm gonna play secret village of the spellcasters, or maybe I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna attack with. Um, Greykeeper's Descendant, and I'm going to attack with Goat. And that's going to do a nice chunk of damage to my opponent. And in main phase 2, well there goes Goat, Goat attacks for 2000. And in main phase 2, I'm going to play Secret Village of the Spellcasters. This is a really good stun card. How it works is if you have a spellcaster on your field, your opponent can't play any spell cards. If you if you do not have a spell cast on your field, then you you can't play any spell cards. And I was trying to be careful there. That's why I was kind of taking my time there. I was just trying to make sure I understood how it worked properly. And if I had a different type of monster on my field, like the goat, then I wouldn't be stopped from using my spell cards. But fortunately, that's not how it works. So my opponent can't play any spell cards right now, and that's going to really slow him down quite a bit. <sighs> Drink of water. There we go. So King Cab is thinking about what to do. He sets a monster face down on the field. And then he has his turn. I have a couple of options here to hear what I can do. Just drew into Magician of Faith. A really underused card in my opinion, but um, understandably underused, but still really, really good. I'm going to attack my opponent's card with um, Greek Keeper's Ascendant, and it's the Virgo, the Nordic Star. Nordic, no, Nordic Alpha. And when that cut is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, normally it may get to trigger an effect, but it didn't get to do so in this case. And now I'm going to attack directly with his goat. Meh. And let's set down Magician of Faith on the field, and then I'm going to end my turn. This Chaos Control deck works really, really well. I should give it more, um, I should use it more often give it more highlight try to fine tune it more because I think it works really really well okay my opponent sits down another card on the field I 
Okay, so for this turn, I just drew into Summon a Monk. Again, I have several options this turn. And uh, one thing which I can do here is I can XC Summon into a, another monster. Not really quite sure what I'm going to do here. So first I'm going to activate Great Keeper's Ascendant and I'm going to get rid of my opponent's monster. See what it is. And it was Mara. Meaning my opponent didn't have enough cards in his hand to sync or summon for this turn. So now I'm going to flip Summon Magician of Faith safely. Bring back a spell card from my graveyard to my hand and the only card I can choose is Forbidden Lance. Not re really necessary but it's free. So let's bring Forbidden Lance to the field. And now I'm going to bring Summon a Monk out. Summon a Monk when it is summoned forces itself to go into defense. But if you discard one spell card from your hand, you get to special summon a level 4 monster from your deck. So let's swarm the field a bit more. Let's bring out the boss monster, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. A monster which I absolutely love. This guy has been so consistent over the years since the game really started and um, it's still even good in the meta today against opponents in terms of grave card, uh, graveyard control so I'm going to attack with um, I'm going to attack with Goat I'm going to attack with Descendant now I probably thought at this point that I could attack with Kaiku and if I recall I'm actually mistaken I can't attack with the monster I special summon through summon a monk's effect this turn which is really really unfortunate um, I wish I paid more attention to that, but that's just my unfamiliarity with this deck and with some of the monk. But that's okay, because I still have one option, and that is to bring out Gagaga Cowboy. A classic move at this point, everyone knows this move. Where just to finish with my opponent, I'm going to get rid of two monsters on the field. I just get rid of some of the cowboy and descendant. Some of the monk, not some of the cowboy. Then I'm going to bring out Gagaga Cowboy, and when that card is special summoning defense, I can attach a card and do 800 damage to my opponent, which will wrap this duel up. So, thank you to King Kaiba as always for playing against me, and uh, hopefully you guys will tune in tomorrow for the second part of our duel, and um, see how round two of our match goes with Chaos Control versus Nordic Monsters. See you guys till then.